Good evening, Kitten Brigade. I know, I know, it's late. And it's me. Okay, um... Let's stop that. And swap it over. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's hope this isn't too loud. I forgot my phone. Hold on. <laughs> Traces of the supernatural reveal themselves more often than intelligent and reasonable men would prefer them to. Chimeras, worshipped by our ancestors centuries ago, crawl back into the light from ancient times. The directors of our fate rain ash down on us from the grey heavens. They conceal themselves beneath us, above us, and among us, staying hidden until we muster up the resolve to meet their malevolent gaze. Having been discovered, they appear in the flesh for a mere moment, and then they expire horribly, wreaking havoc on the world that they rightfully see as their toy. All right, what did I miss? Gonna lie, but these models are a little funky looking. It's a little weird. Just a little. I don't know what's going on. As an early Tomb Raider feel. Not that early. I don't think this game is that old. Uh, I just want to check something. I think, by the way, Killer, you're probably going to be the only person who sits in to watch this, so let's go. <laughs> this game is like not even barely listed in Twitch's uh, list of games, so. So, it's all about trickery to you? Wait, this is subtitles? No, no. You're not gonna even give me subtitles? Ew, motion blur. Didn't even see that one. Oh goody, you get to attack people in this in this game. Or find plagues. Oh, good. There's not even subtitles for this game. It's awesome times. And I'm late too. Uh, I fa I've also found that if I try to stream games that are like almost fairly obscure, like this kind of game, um, most people don't really stay for long, even if they do come to check it out. 
So there are no subtitles. So right. trickery. But if we ourselves are to suffer deception, our hands are no longer tied. Where are we? Well, the muscular contraction is there. Means we're already inside of him. This must be one of the ventricles right here. What a silly place. It's stuffed. So it's not real for now? I don't think it has started yet. Does it matter what it's made of? It's definitely struggling. We need to perform Sectio Transversalis. Cut the wall. There's no other way out. What else is there to do? I know what to do. Oh my god, you get to swap between characters? Bachelor, Haru Specs, and Changeling. This character is only unlocked after you finish the Bachelors of the Haru Specs storyline. <laughs> Bachelor. The history of humanity witnessed a number of catastrophes that have demonstrated without a shadow of a doubt the pettiness of human achievement and the triumph of the invincible evil outbreaks of infectious diseases that have from time to time wiped towns and cities off the map are undoubtedly among those. However smart and virtuous the people caught up in these destructive events have repeatedly come to the conclusion that it's no use trying to fight these circumstances. The best you can do is bite the bullet and cope with your losses. This is the story of a person who has managed to work a miracle and defeat a seemingly unvanquishable foe. High respects. How do they call upon the Mench Menklu M Menku? Menku, the faithful of the ward and kin, known by their hands for they are butchers, known by their eyes for they are surgeons, they who follow the lines, they who are the leaders of the kin, they who speak to Udergs, they who know the secret art of Haruspacy. Haruspacy? I don't even know what that word is. Haruspex and Haruspacy? What is Haruspex? Oh, here we go. Reading the future in the entrails, he knows that a body bears semblance to the universe. His scalpel follows the lines of the body. His steps follow the lines of his kin's fortune. A Haruspex that can tell a true line from a false one is entrusted with power. A Haruspex who is confused by his path gets buried into the deep black flesh of the earth. This is the story of a person who has avoided the contradiction, eager to rip a doomed life apart, masterfully fulfilling his true purpose in the process. This is weird, man. Wait, what happened? I hit escape. Far right looks like a streamer I watch. <laughs> okay, I have to so start all over again all because I hit escape and... No, no. Oh, I guess entering on the door you're if we supposed to pick a character. To suffer deception, what the fuck? Our hands are no longer tied. Where are we? Well, the muscular contraction is there. Means we're already inside of him. Okay, I guess we're this just picking must a character. Be one of the ventricles right here. What is We're in a ventricle, place. guys. It's stuffed. So it's not real for now? I don't think it has started yet. Does it matter what it's made of? It's definitely struggling. We need to perform Sectio Transversalis. Cut the wall. There's no other way out. What else is there to do? I know what to do. Those who favor hard logic and direct action are bound to be misguided. Only a miracle can set us free without us having to destroy something. And I can do miracles. Just let me. Will you please be quiet? You're a liar and a thief. Who is going to believe you when you keep lying to yourself? The truth is my shepherd. Whatever happens, I will find answers, and justice will be restored. Okay, so Bachelor or Harusbex? Which one should we play? I have no idea which one I should play, but... Given that we're being given a choice here... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. 
I have zero idea. Fine, let's just play The Bachelor. Daniil Dankowski, a Bachelor of Medicine, was brought here by circumstances most unfortunate. Dankowski's life work, his theory challenging the existing notions of human mortality, is being harshly persecuted by the powers that be. Suddenly, a letter arrives from a colleague suggesting that there is previous undiscovered evidence which may support Dankowski's claims. There is a settlement, the letter says, ruled by an extraordinary man who may well be seen as objective proof of Dankowski's daring hypothesis. Grasping at straws so of hope, daring. Dankowski decides to follow what he believes to be the sign of divine providence. Without further ado, he sets off for the settlement. Late at night, Bachelor arrives in the town. As he seeks room and board, he gets to know a girl called Eva Yan and stays at her place till dawn. This game is, but it, the graphics definitely look pretty old. <laughs> These 3D models are really <laughs> something. Scantily clad, kind of a uh, butter face. <laughs> As of today, my mission remains obscure. Yeah, that's for sure. This game is very obscure. The examination of Simon Kane, who is rumored to be a man of incredible longevity, may shake the very foundation of modern thanatology and challenge the existent notions of death itself. 2005. Well, it's a little older than I thought it would be. However, even if this undying Leviathan, um, Leviathan <laughs> proves to be more than a fairy tale, the mere confirmation of his existence won't suffice to prevent the powers that be from shutting our laboratory down. I need to figure out the most fru fruitful approach. Simon is a well-respected man. If he mistakes my interest for effrontery, effrontery, it would be nigh impossible to convince him to help me break new ground in the field of human vitality. Today's quest, other quest, okay. Guess that's it. Escape. Alright, day one, by the end of which the bachelor finds himself battling a truly unvanquishable foe. This is a bit of a crowded room. Health, immunity, hunger, exhaustion, infection. Wow. I don't. This game is very involved. I don't know how long I'm gonna last in this game. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it a good try. That's a curtain. That's a curtain. Is there no doors to exit this place? 
I thought that was a door, but it's not. How do we get out of here? We're already trapped. We are already trapped! Okay. This makes a whole lot of sense. We are in the... what the... I guess I'm looking at a microscope. Just looked at the wiki. Lol, good luck. This game looks a far more involved than I thought it would be. Because, like, looking at the details, like, with all the different things you can manage, like health, immunity, hunger, exhaustion, and infection. I'm not sure what I signed up for, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay, I guess I'll uh, sleep then. It's story heavy too. I don't mind the story, but the, the, the mechanic here of managing all these different aspects um, seem a little daunting. Weapons, clothes, drugs. Serious health damage. A tourniquet. Fifteen S and sedative minus twenty five E. See, I don't even know what these numbers mean. This is like, um... <laughs> Reduces fatigue. Reduces health. This is like one of those games that you probably would have needed a manual for. Like, no joke. No joke. <laughs> you have rations. I'm kind of wondering if I should s switch to Doom. <laughs> I wasn't uh, I wasn't expecting such a intricate game. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really in the mood for something that's gonna be this complicated. And uh, also, we are stuck. We are stuck! We're stuck in this room and I don't fucking know where I'm, what I'm supposed to do. We're, we're already trapped in the first room. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what is expected of my character. Oh my god, there was a door! There was a door the whole time here, but because it's so fucking dark, it looked like it was a wall. This is a really weird spot to put a fucking door. Like, no joke. It feels like they made a little tiny room and then they just like crammed in as much shit as they could. I feel like I'm gonna go through this game and be like bashing it the whole time. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? This is not a this is not a realistic house. Look at how thin the walls are that are constructing the stairwell. This it's just it's just... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what I'm playing here. Alright, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go down. Let's see how long we last. We wasted two hours sleeping. Oh, oh, there's this chick. Whose hair is like... Plastic. My laptop is cracking, see? What? What did you say? You have to survive 12 days. It's the long dark. Are you serious? I had a feeling you would come. Her picture does not look anything like her portrait. 
her model does not look anything like <laughs> garbage there. <laughs> Did the sounds from the outside wake you up too? There was a terrible groan, and then something snapped loudly. I think there are strangers in the backyard, by the pond. They're unlikely to be planning mischief, but I have a bad feeling about this. I'm afraid to go out to them. I hope they go away soon and stop disturbing our sleep. Oh yeah, that's right. I hooked up- not hooked up, but whatever. I found this random chick and I'm staying at her house. For whatever reason. I sincerely hope you have everything you need. Yes, I do. In your little crappy room that's just not believable. Because <laughs> I'm happy to- very happy to have you here. d d Danil, is it? Danil? How do you say that name? Daniel. I don't know, I'm just gonna call him the Bachelor. Could you please tell me where your ruler Simon Kane lives? Uh, let's just go with that. Are you willing to trade the company of a fascinated woman for that of a dreadful old man even if he is a sorcerer? That's so sad, but Simon won't go anywhere. He is, he has always been, he always will be, even if the moon were to fall fall to the ground. Please stay with me a little longer. Oh, so you're saying that this game was originally Russian? So is it possible that this game also suffers from like, um, translation issues? Simon is a sorcerer? Did I hear you right? Is that the secret to his longevity? <laughs> Are you in that much of a hurry? Do come round. The canes are asleep now. Take your knockout, knockabout coat off. Have a rest in my bed. Let me warm your hands. You are so anxious to see Simon as though your life depended on- Is she like coming on to me? I don't get this. My life. Yes, now that my laboratory is on the brink of destruction, my whole life's pursuit depends on that remarkable man. If he has really managed to live that long, then his tissues will help me defeat death. Like, the language is so flowery, but I don't even understand like what the hell is going on. Like, it's, it's so roundabout the way they talk. Death. So that's the enemy you've chosen for yourself. Isn't it hard? I don't think anyone has managed to defeat that evil yet. Um, my enemy is in inevitability. I am challenging the forces of nature. I don't understand. I can barely understand it myself. But death only seem inevitable to us, but in reality be nothing more than a whim with a will that had shaped this world. That is the question. So where is the key to my victory? It's not far, the king's the... What the... Was she... <laughs> what the hell? The other, I, the other answer was, I need to know, or where does he live? So her answer almost looks like it's more directly answering that question. Uh, whatever. It's just like, giving you choices with the semblance of, like, there being branching dialogue, but not really. I don't know. It's not far. The Canes live at the Crucible on Bridge Square, but could I please offer you a piece of advice? <laughs> Go on. Simon has two younger brothers. The eldest of the two, Georgie, Georgie? <laughs> is called the judge by the locals. Visit him first. He isn't asleep. He'll teach you how to speak with Simon. The youngest of the three is Victor. His daughter, Maria, also wanted to see you. It's probably important. Was it she who knew about my arrival beforehand? Yes, she told me about it privately. Talking to her is no simple task. Maria is that kind of person. She puts on airs, but that's just how the canes are. It was Maria who told me that she would help you defeat death. That's the precise wording. What a coincidence. Alright, thank you for the advice. Go on. Or go, and I'll prepare everything for your return. Do come back after you speak to the canes. They will probably do a lot of things that will puzzle you and put you on guard. I will have some advice that may be of help to you, if you need it. <laughs> okay, I'll come back. Where am I? Okay, I'm here. This mansion, called the Stillwater, belongs to a single girl called Eva Yan. An accidental midnight encounter provided me with a lovely companion and temporary lodging. What does that mean? Did, 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 did we hook up? So I gotta go down the street. Simon Kane is here. The 
mysterious Maria Victor King's daughter has been expecting my arrival. So I guess I need to visit Maria first. Okie dokie. What are you wearing, lady? It is like an impossible outfit. And what's up uh, with your mirror? What is there to talk about now? Infection. So I can sleep in her bed? It's hot. Is that realistic though? <laughs> My lacquer is cracking, see? My lacquer is cracking. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh my god, what is... What is that by the door? What is this? <laughs> Well, venerable bachelor, please be so kind as to linger for a minute. This conversation won't take too much of your time, especially since time stops during dialogues. At least during the important ones, and our dialogue is extremely important. You need to know how to play after all, don't you? Play? Who are you? A poor trage tragedian, if you please, a victim of circumstances just like you. <laughs> Did she just vote? I don't know. <laughs> um, you are mistaken. I am the director, the person in charge of the situation. I'm not a random actor. Of course you aren't. You are a living, breathing man, as is evident from your conditions and statuses. You experience hunger, thirst, and fatigue. You suffer from pain, wounds, and diseases. You're so lifelike. Tool video all of a sudden. <laughs> You have to eat, drink, sleep, and rest, and to make mistakes, the latter being the most definitive proof of my human nature. Wouldn't you agree? If I may, I would like to point out how just how important it is to keep an eye on your condition. If you get dizzy or unnaturally sluggish, do have it checked out. Vital processes tend to run faster during emergencies than everyday life. I knew a person who died of stress but was diagnosed with starvation. It happens. Need I remind a wise man like you of the fact that hunger is sated with food, food can be found in shops, and shops can be found in ordinary houses that are marked with specific signs. Sleep, however, is more complicated. People only sleep in beds, and only in private residences around here. I'm sorry, but that is just our, how our world is. Yes, the world is unjust. And quite silly, if you forgive me for saying so. Speaking of commerce, different shops will sell different, similar items at different prices. Make sure you don't get cheated. People can be quite brazen around here. You can also barter with the folk out in the street. Some things may be nothing more than trinkets to you, but others may would be willing to part with their life's blood for them. Blood? Yes, blood. It's not my place to lecture you, but if following your Hippocratic Oath, you ever consider easing someone's pain, feel free to just approach them with a suitable drug. You will see their pain receding before your very eyes. The sick fall asleep when they're close to recovery, don't they? Or when they're close to their ultimate rest. Still, helping the hopeless will grant you a good reputation. You will be seen as a benefactor willing to part with a precious sleeping draught or a painkiller for a simple bystander. Anything else? No, no, not yet. Show me the way to Simon's house. Turn left now, then walk along the alley. You will see a cathedral and three mansions across the bridge square. Simon lives in the one that is closest to the river. Thanks. So I guess these black figures are supposed to be help. Tooltips helps. What the hell is this thing? Halt! I'm going to have to teach you about the technicalities of the setting. The time and the place. It's not essential, but that's just how it is. The actor has to be prepared before that he goes on stage, or else he'll fall down the aisle or stumble upon the prompt box. That would look mighty silly, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> You're going to have to teach me? Aren't you forgetting your manners? My manners. There's different manners of life and thought. None of them mine. If anything goes awry, you'll get a chance to witness each of them. That's something you should probably try to avoid. As for now, please forgive my rudeness. I'm in a special position here. And so I have to be the right, or I have the right to be blunt sometimes. And 
What did you want to tell me? Time flies by. It can't be stopped or turned back. Nights follow days, which are then followed by nights. Things happen without any regard for whether you're there to witness them. Don't expect anyone to wait for you. Most events can be missed. And so? And so it would make sense for you to visit the places that you care about regularly. You'll find people that will play major roles in your fate there. They stand out from the common folk. The rest are just a crowd shot, a background, a bunch of extras, as it always has been. Indeed. Still, it's best to avoid ha hasty judgment. It's a paradox, you see. Don't try to care too much for the lives of these bound to stand out people, and don't be too dismissive of the silent crowd. Both extremes will end in tragedy. Why is that? The world cares for your reputation. A fine and crucial instrument. Your reputation changes the world you see, for it is a mirror. Won't you agree? And so, a bad reputation can get you into a lot of trouble, for example. Oh, need I describe? You've got a vivid imagination. Everything changes from mystical aspects to mundane things, like the people you need treating you badly. How many enemies you've got. How high the prices rise. How bad your dreams are. Lots of things. A sorry prospect, so how do I maintain my reputation? Really? How is that even a question? Same as anywhere. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not betray. Do not steal. Do not covet. Do not be an asshole. Do not get caught. The rules are the same everywhere. A truly selfless deed, like risking something for thy neighbor or even a person who lives quite far away, can help in a dire situation. Let me see. Really? Good for you, then. As for me, I can't see anything in this mask. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, don't get too worked up about human lives, and don't put too much stock into other words, mine included. He who trusts everyone is asking to be deceived. Simon Cain does not reside. He lives, or rather exists. He reigns, he creates, he makes mistakes, and brings joy to the people with the mere fact of his existence, and all that happens at the Crucible. Go left along this alley as you reach Bridge Square. Look to the right. You will see it. Thank you. This thing is so weird. It's like, what the fuck? Can I run this game? Oh, I can even use a controller if I wanted to. Okay, we can't run. That's as fast as we go. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna give this game a little bit of a chance. What the hell? Uh, what's with the paper doll? Good morals and luck are a great help in managing a small community without resorting to violence. Personal standing can work wonders. I like our town. We're all one big family, but sometimes I get the feeling that we're all controlled by an unseen power, our actions but fiction. It's quite possible. This guy walking along. Anything I can do for you? Hello, Wild. How you doing? I am playing a very strange game. This is totally like outside my comfort zone. <laughs> It is, but there's not much to tell about it. it. consists of two parts. The first part is where everything in the town exports is stored, meat, sausage, ham, bone meal, and so on. The other one stores various hardware and also the manufactured goods that the regular train delivers. That is in the knots. In the southern the meat warehouses are the ones closer to the station, the hardware ones are closer to the town, there's a blah blah blah. I don't know why I'm interested in this. Hello, slot. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Who's 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 slot? Why are all these people wearing such strange outfits? 
My people, my heart is crying for my poor children. How are my dears doing? Is everything all right? Oh, women's share is hard. <laughs> um, you got a curious town here. <laughs> Everyone's tired of the endless construction work. We want some quiet. Doesn't it have a positive sign? Of course it does. The state is never lacking, and the constant construction projects provide workplaces. Still, we want some quiet. <laughs> Replace A with you. Um, are you saying that to me, man? I don't know if I'm cool with that. I don't know if I'm cool with that, man. This isn't the house I need to be at, is it? No, no, totally not. No. <laughs> Uh um, okay. I'm not sure if this is supposed to, if that's supposed to be a joke. Sarcasm. So wait, I'm supposed to go down the street? Oh, uh, these people are like really weird looking. What are you wearing, man? What are you wearing, dude? Hey you, don't mess with us. We know a thing or two about life. Why are you so bristled up? It has begun. A crushing blow to the soul and the halves is being prepared. There is almost seventy dog heads. No one will escape their doom. Who are the soul and the halves and the dog heads? The soul and halves have a soul and half, and the dog heads have dog heads. As you can see, it's a clash of ideas, a matter of principle. It's an us or them situation. There will be no mercy. We got some fierce games. A game to some, destiny to others. I hope you avoid manslaughter. that you're talking about? Why is this town so freaky looking? Like, what is that? This game is so weird. You should play Presentable Liberty. Uh, I've never even heard of that game. Okay, so I'm actually walking by the house that they are talking about. I'm glad that they have a marker on the map <laughs> for where you are. Okay, let's try and go visit this person. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with this game though, to be honest. Don't watch anything on it. Um, okay. I don't usually. I want it to be a surprise. I don't have the game though, so I don't know. I'll have to find a copy that I can get my hands on. But 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 yeah, killer. I, I'm not sure how long I'll stick with this game, <laughs> and I'm not even sure if anyone's interested in watching me play this. <laughs> this this was not quite the game I thought it would be. Boy oh boy, it's pretty old. It's game in Twitch is... a genre in Twitch is puzzle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like puzzle games. Horror. Puzzle- puzzly horror. Okay, I will uh, look into seeing about getting a copy. Um, she looks weird. What Great the- Great souls are not those who have fewer passions and more virtues than the common, what the but those fuck? only who have greater designs. What the fuck is going on with her chest there? Like, why are there buttons on, like, her nipples? Like, seriously. What, what is going on with your outfit, lady? I think I'm having fever heat. Fever heat? I'm feverish. What can it be? Okay, you resemble an adventurer rather than a doctor. How is it that you know me? <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. I saw you in a dream. Don't flatter yourself. My desires have nothing to do with that. I simply saw you take us all by the throat. What else did you see in that dream? I'll tell you when I think I can trust you. I hope that happens soon. I think I'm having fever heat. 
<laughs> I have a lot to tell you, Bachelor Nankowski, but I dare not until I meet my uncle Georgie. Otherwise he'll rip my tongue out for disclosing a secret. <laughs> Some strict morals your family has. They make much more sense than you may think. This is not a game, is it? For not for all that is holy, do speak to my uncle and then come back to me. Otherwise the excruciating anticipation will tear my heart to pieces. Oh, where is your uncle now? Close at hand, just next door. Go to the wing that's close to the river. Its roof is shaped like a crown. Okay. This game is so weird. And very dated looking. Shaped like a crown. <laughs> is she talking about this building? No. She said closer to the river. Uh, you're talking about the game that you're t um, suggesting? Presentable Liberty. Okay, if I if I remember after the stream, I'll uh, see if I can get a copy of it or look into it. So the Saburovs have offered patronage to some changeling. Well, Who at least she? this guy looks a lot like his uh, portrait. <laughs> Most venerable doctor, it is with great impatience that we have been expecting you. You need not delve into the minutiae of your business with us, since our family is well acquainted with your scholarly work. We are also quite aware of the difficulties you are experiencing, and we are well prepared to do our utmost to support you. It hurts me all the more to be the one to inform you that Simon, my consanguinous brother, the creator, keeper, and embodiment of all that surrounds us, has been murdered. Precisely. Why did it just have to happen just before your arrival? Are you asking yourself the same question? I hope you don't see any connection between my arrival and the murder. In fact, I do see a connection. However, do not mistake it for a thought that it was you who murdered him. Well, at least that's something. Hmm. Isidore has done more than he thinks. I have a lingering feeling that time itself is using uncontestable powers to further its own intentions. What do you think? Uh... I'm no fatalist. It could be that my mind is clouded by sorrow, but I cannot escape the feeling that your arrival was no coincidence. Your choice was made for you, my dear doctor. Let us not blame fate for it. Isidore wrote to you without making us aware. He took a risk that could have displeased our family. Why do you speak the word fate with such disgust? Uh, okay, cool. I will definitely check it out. I prefer the word time in a fatalistic sense of the notion, of course, so Simon wasn't aware I would come. Even though we were certain, uncertain of when you would arrive, my brother was looking forward to meeting you. The tragedy may have been a consequence of the actions he took in preparation for your arrival. Someone has taken a powerful piece from the chessboard, a piece upon which your position were here depended. It is doubly regrettable that Simon was playing on your side. So you presume the queen knew of the blow and sacrificed itself for Khan, but why? What? I don't get this. Do you want to help us, Doctor? Find the murderer for us. My brother Victor, who is in the wing next door, would share some of his thoughts on the matter. Help us, and the reward will not disappoint you. <laughs> I will help you every way I can. I am convinced that if there's anyone at all that can help us solve this puzzle, then it is you. This mission calls for someone as astute and inventive as yourself. If Isidore was an instrument of fate, then Simon's murder is a message that fate intended for you personally. Do not think I am inclined to blame you for that. I am not. Um, how do you find the look for the murderer? 
We will take our own measures. The only thing I expect from you is to be yourself. Do only what you think is required. Whatever you find out, whatever you do, whatever your day turns into, everything is a clue to the solution of this puzzle. I repeat, everything that is happening here is happening on your account. You have my sympathy. Alrighty, man. I don't know if I can, like, investigate other parts of the house. This is a very strange tree. It's a very big tree as well. And, wait, he has, like, two coat hangers? Um, whoever designed these houses, um, sure know how to decorate them. Uh-huh. Alrighty. Let's go back and visit, um, the girl. <laughs> <clears throat> as crazy as she was. I often feel like someone's looking at us from the other side. Now listen closely. The time for collusion, secrets, and alliances has come. I'm going to ask something of you. I'm not used to it. I'm used to holding the reins, but you are not harnessed, so it would be unacceptable to address you in this manner. I find solace in the fact that my request will be welcome with you. It fits the style of your venture. I apologize if my words come across as mangled and silly. I am truly not used to asking, but the nature of my request demands complete and selfless humility. Just imagine me begging and kneeling, and believe me, I do feel that way. Uh, sure. <laughs> Today's death was the first, but it won't be the last. Simon has opened the score of irreplaceable victims. Soon their number will multiply. I beg you to preserve the lives of several people when the lines of their fortune cross yours. Before any of them dies, there will be a moment when you will be able to intervene. I know that for a fact. Who are these people? <laughs> that doesn't matter. What was de destined to happen will happen. It will be... You can be whatever you want to be, but not a coward choosing to hear no evil or run away from reality. I will give you a list of those I know of. Those people are bound to you. What in the world is going on here? Are you trying to flirt with me? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, you haven't been told, have you? It didn't even cross my mind that someone may be unaware of my abilities. No one here dares doubt them, for they are evident. Yes, the mistress of every ruling house possesses special abilities. I am learning to see the future and transform the present. <laughs> this fact offers your words a different degree of authenticity. Will you comply with my request? Will you save the lives of the people I named to you? Answer me, before going back to Ava. Okay. Alright, if it is truly within my power, I'll do my best to save their lives. Whatever happens, these people must live. Their fates are bound to mine. They may well hold the keys to my victory in their hands. Why are some of these pictures so scary looking? <laughs> But this guy literally has Immortel in his name. Mark Immortel. Come on. That's a lot of people I gotta look out for. Georgie, Victor, Audrey, Peter, Maria. Oh, that's her, I guess. Ava Yun, and Mark. So I've met. I haven't met this guy, this guy, this guy, or this guy. All right, I'll try. I can't make any guarantees, girl. Hmm. 
Oh, these guys are here. There's something particular uh, we feel the urge to warn you about. When you speak to the bound, please choose your words carefully. Do not worry, you will easily be able to make out what kind of a person is standing before you, an observant man that you are. So use that skill when dealing with the bound. Some of them are indeed worth insulting, whereas others need to be treated with utmost respect. <laughs> Each conversation will bring you small profit, depending on the elk time, of course. Depending on small profit. A handful of money. It's not a dialogue fee, don't get me wrong. Never refuse to take small sums of money from the bound. Um, that would not belittle you, little you in any fashion, but would rather demonstrate that you appreciate the local customs. Alright. The town is small and rather unexceptional, isn't it? But there are all kinds of people here. The simple folk and the more remarkable ones. The former will tell you more they, than they know. Um, the latter know way more than they're ever going to let out. Keep a close eye on them. Your victory depends on it. Who are these remarkable people? There are 20-something of them, easily distinguished by their lodgings or their presence. They are called many names. The Bound, the Faded, the Adherents, the Gobos Tigler, town circle. Simon preferred their company to any other. Is that a sect or something? No. There used to be a pagan game called Tagler. A round delay of sorts. A Tagler means a kin circle and Gobo is a character from a local epic and so the people that Simon was interested in the most are called the Gobo's Tagler. Some of them don't even know one another. How did Simon choose them? Because it is they that will decide the fate of this town. Don't be distracted by the fact that some of them look insignificant or disreputable. They will earn their worth. You just you just give them time. They're the most important joints of the town. Why are you telling me all this? Every day one of them will try death by their tooth. Each will put their life at risk, and each one that dies is important. Some of them may take the keys to victory to the grave. Mind that the keys are yours, while the grave is theirs. Others will do the opposite. Don't waste your chance to condemn someone who may get in your way. How do you know what is helpful and what gets in the way? Okay, okay, alright. Dropping you more hints would be cheating. Shutting up now. While allow me to conclude then. Each bound you save will influence the finale of your adventure. Each of them has their own goals and motives. It may so happen that these, those who speak, <laughs> who seek a different ending survive and then, well, you've been warned. Okay. I'll take that into account and we'll be careful. Where am I? Oh, I'm over at the back. So I need to talk to Victor. an interesting sculpture. <laughs> the true way to be deceived is to think oneself more knowing than others. The famous Dr. Dankowski. Your arrival is a great honor for us. Victor Kane at your service. My pleasure. I foresee that the things that have become ordinary for us will probably make you feel uncomfortable and disturbed. I would like to compensate for that impression. You know our small community has fallen out of the loop. Time leaves us behind. What do you mean? I mean the traditions. Games that we play with passion will most likely be of no interest to you. The people you meet here may seem eccentric, na naive, or even somewhat deranged. Please take it easy on us. Don't dodge us too strictly. I hope we will be able to work in the atmosphere of mutual trust. I fear that Simon's death is a <coughs> symbolic event. How can I help you? Georgie has told me everything, which is to say he told me very little, but it was enough to astound me. He maintains that you can provide a more detailed account. So have you agreed to help us? I have. May I ask why? <laughs> The killer's goals seem to align astonishingly well with the goals of those who have been waging war against my work for years. This one? I'm prepared to answer my any questions you may have. Where was Simon last seen? He sent Isidore home. Then an hour later he came to 
this hall to see us. He knows his plans to withdraw to the focus and receive no one. He told us not to approach the focus and to fast for a week, partaking of neither meat nor water. Then, in the morning, he was found dead. <laughs> How was he found? The servants discovered him in the morning. The room had been ransacked. Everything that had been breakable had been broken. He's, his disfigured, contorted body bore signs of terrible suffering. His neck was twisted, his spine broken, I think. No one has touched the body. It is currently inside the focus and will remain there for the prescribed amount of time. What's this focus place? It's hard to explain. It's a study, if you will. An extraordinary, spacious, creative laboratory. Almost perfectly sealed off, except for the door that was visible at all times. Metaphorically speaking, I don't understand. It's like an equation, or a mirror puzzle. Anyway, the, mur the murderer could not have been hiding there. Take my word for it. Well, Simon did get in there somehow. He could perform far more impressive feats. There's a reason why the whole town reveres. I mean, revered him. Alright, so how can I help you? Just take a look around. Trust your intuition. Do whatever you like. Speak to whoever you feel the need to speak feel the need to. Look for the murderer, doctor, and you will find them. Keep looking until the last breath. I'm sure your rational thinking will help you. So is the door is my only lead, how can I find him? I'll show you, but you must be careful. Simon's murderer, whoever they are, could not be an ordinary person. I can't imagine them even being a person. I fear it could only be fate, wearing the guise of a mysterious monster. I will be careful. This is where Isidore Bolrak lives, the man that had brought me to his remote place. He is the last person that saw Simon Kane alive. Holy crap, he's like on the other side of freaking town. Okay. I guess we're uh, we're gonna walk over there. Hello, pretty lady. <laughs> Anything I can help you with? No, thank you. It's a long walk. Oh crap, I ended up going through this area and it might be locked in. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> is it going to take me all night to get there? It's going to take me all night to get there, isn't it? Uh, 
Uh, so, Wild, are you still here? This game that you're talking about, is it, um, is it free or do I have to, do I have to buy it? How do I get out of here? Okay, that startled me a little bit. Where am I? Where am I on this map now? Oh, I'm here. Music is getting a little more different. What's up with that house? This guy looks evil looking. Oh, how ferocious Mother Nature is, for tis her wrath that has to be withstood. Oh, friend, if only I could wet my whistle, I'd gladly give you anything on earth in exchange for a gulp of chilly spring water. Only lowly animals, dirty of image, drink from the river. Us proud men deserve to drink spring water. Tis brought here us in barrels, but they're often empty. I get it from here, but I'm out of bottles. I drink straight out of a fountain, but I'm gonna faint. The air here is too spicy. I'm barely walking as is. <laughs> I should be asleep. Hey, Yuri. Then why don't you go to sleep? I got tired of reading out <laughs> everything. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this game, guys. This game is really weird. Uh, do I have water? I don't know if I have water, and I went and made this offer to him. How do I offer him? Um, I don't understand how this works. This is not the water here. How, how, how does this thing work? how the system works, my god. Okay, we're just escaping. This guy looks crazy. That smile on his face. This game is um, a little more complex and older than I expected. I'm over here. I'm very strange. A lot more stranger than I thought. Get to that house. The fuck? So 
from the other side. Why do they make this so convoluted to get there? I... This isn't even a door. It's a window. God damn it. That's a window. What's with all the dogs barking? Okay, there's not even a door on the side. These buildings are very strange looking. Okay, it's this window, so it must be on the other side. How am I missing this? Why did they make this so needlessly convoluted? <laughs> Foul murder occurred here this night. No unauthorized access allowed. Inspecting the crime scene is strictly forbidden until further notice. <laughs> well, you're not a local, sir, so you're unlikely to understand the loss we suffered. Visitor Barack. This intentionally very convoluted, so it would take time to get to locations. I have to go the other way. Why did they close off everything? This is not fun when they <laughs> when they close off areas just so you're forced to take the long way around. Uh, why? Why? It's like needless hurting here. Go here. Uh, best to go this way. I don't know about this game, guys. <laughs> this game is very strange. That's okay, I'll make it. I'm made of wood. You're made of wood? What has this town turned into? Truly a country of contradictions. Neither the sun nor death can be looked at without winking. Who said that?
The outcome was to be expected, I'm afraid. Simon was doomed. I've got a firm hand. Talking to him got me access past those guys. What the fuck is this kid? She looks so angry. <laughs> She's just like standing there with her hands on her hips. Okay. We all know about you. This game is interesting. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this. Ugh. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of investigating and running around so far. Less, less horror-y than I thought it would be. Normal person is supposed to have one soul. Huh. I think I might just switch up to a different game because this is really like this is so uh, just the writing in, in this game is hard to even grasp what they're what they're trying to say. Because they, they talk in such roundabout ways. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> and, uh, hey, Rizuko. How's it going? How's it going? What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, I was gonna go check that house. But then he said I could also go talk to his wife. Why is his wife living in a separate building? I, I, don't, I don't even know. Just, there are questions about this. But uh, yeah, if I, if I do swap to a different game... Let me see. Um, I have a few other horror themed games lined up, so let me see. 
I'll just uh, I'll just copy paste it. Copy paste list. And then uh, <laughs> you guys in the chat can tell me <laughs> what you might prefer. prefer <clears throat> aside from pathologic which is this game that I'm playing right now <laughs> um, I was gonna go back to this building and see if I can get in there Isadora Barak so Isadora Barak is, is dead as well like, I haven't even had a chance to really do much in this game, and two people are already dead. How this happened? Uh, I need to go... around? Oh, no. I think I went the wrong way. These buildings are so convoluted. <clears throat> uh, but basically any of those games aside from Lone Survivor, I'll be playing from the beginning. <laughs> They'd all be new to you. Um, uh, okay. I need to go up here. This map is so, like, weird. Oh, great. I'm supposed to go in there. The map does not show the stupid fence that is here. God damn it. So you're supposed to walk all the way around. Okay. Okay, right, that's right. You're supposed to go all the way around to this way. Never played any of those, so they'd be new. I also don't think I got too far into Lone Survivor, so... This guy's tying his shoelaces. They're like the exact same person. They're like twins. They won't let me in. Could you kindly leave? they won't let me see the bodies. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna go to this place. I don't have to go all the way around. <laughs> I don't know, are, are, are you guys are you guys enjoying this? <laughs> are you in are you intrigued with this strange game? Should I keep going? Should I give this game more of a chance? I haven't even really been checking my status. Oh hey, I can punch things. No RE2 Remake, I don't own that, unfortunately. That is on my list to play, though, for sure. I do actually have the first RE game remake, a remastered version. I have to go all the way, that way. 
Um, and I also had RE Revelations on that list, which is supposed to be... Um, taking place on a boat. <laughs> or a submarine of sorts. <laughs> Not entirely sure. I haven't actually gotten to play through the Revelations, which is why I have that on there. Okay, there are steps here to like a wall. A wall. Who builds steps up to the side of a wall? Good luck playing this game. Ha ha ha. I'm probably not gonna last very long with it, Arrow. Oh, I'm not even at the right house. Yay me. Oh wait, what was, what did I Oh Q. Okay. It's hard to conceptualize and understand the game. Great story though. You th you think it's a great story? Have you played it? <laughs> Yeah, this game seems very almost abstract. Not at all what I was expecting. Like, on another day, if I was in the mood for something like this, I'd probably give this a better go. But, yeah. Not exactly what I was expecting. As the mind endeavors to reach one goal, the heart insensibly drags us towards another. I'm afraid it's natural. Simon was doomed. You can get the beta Pathologic 2 Total Remake for free. It's quite good in my honest opinion. Uh, so you don't need to play Pathologic 1 to play Pathologic 2. Is Pathologic 2 anything like this kind of gameplay? Because <laughs> if it is, yeah, it's not something I would probably play for like a, uh, as a, like a horror Freaky Friday type title. I don't know. Maybe maybe this game is a lot more horrific. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not getting that sense right now. <laughs> Seems seems a little slower paced with uh, investigative qualities. Mm. This one.
There seems to be like a lot of details you need to remember. <laughs> you want to be able to sort of uh, do well in the investigation. <laughs> Which isn't really my forte. Really? To the lump. Alright, we're going to the lump. That's what I would name my mansion, the lump. Can I keep There on? are unseen connections looking through the capricity and tenuity that the world seems to be made of. Questionable background, audacity of demeanor, you know, the whole assortment. <laughs> Do tell me who these affluent ladies are. <laughs> uh, morphine habit. Katarina, I don't think I've met Katarina, or have I? You don't like being lied to, do you? Well, I don't know if she's lying to me. Are you lying to me? At least she's kind of dressed more respectably than that first lady I met. Who's letting me lodge with her. Yes. Okay. Your house is of a very interesting layout, is all I can say. Is it getting dark? So it actually records when you visit these places? Alright, let's go uh, visit the lump. Lump, lump, lump. going the right way.
What's with this poster? One of those tooltip guys. It sounds like there's like a dog nearby all the time. Alright, we're at the bump. Uh, that is a freaky photo. The decor in this house is kind of freaky looking. You're a very intense looking man. Hmm. So my Haruspex is the Ripper? Funny. <laughs> he thinks I'm dapper. I'm trying to be careful about what I say to these people, but it's like I can't even tell sometimes which responses are going to offend. I'm trying not to take the uh, the most offensive responses, but who knows? Like, okay, I think this response here is offensive. They both seem... Um, they both seem like offensive comments, though. This is implying that he's like a child, believing that. And this one seems really sarcastic. Okay, fine, let's go with the sarcasm.
So he doesn't want me to talk to his son? What? I don't think this fellow is being straight with me. What time is it? So it was one o'clock, maybe two o'clock? What the fuck is that? What is that? Where are you going? Oh fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what am I fighting here? Oh, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> that, that, that was a good run while it lasted. Wow. This is... I didn't even save my game. That was, uh... That was quite something, guys. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna quit this game. <laughs> that was just... Th this game was just a little weird for me. So we're gonna quit that. I'm going to... figure out... 
what game to play next. What say you guys? What say you guys? What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm looking at a, a review on Pathologic. Someone wrote a positive review saying this game is not fun whatsoever. A hundred out of ten. <laughs> Well, though it rated fairly high on the Metacritic. All right. Uh, what options did we have? Let's see. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna probably play Corpse Party. Actually, do I even have that installed? <clears throat> I might not have that installed yet. <laughs> yeah, I need to install it. <laughs> I've actually played this game before, but not on Steam. I actually can't remember how I got Corpse Party. I think I got it as a part of a Humble Bundle or something. Okay, there we go. That installed pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> 